Kept you waiting, huh? Without a doubt, one of the best submission artists in any weight class in mixed martial arts. Spinning kick from Verdum. Nice knee. He got him. Verdum trying to finish. Look at this. Guillotine. Guillotine. Can he get it? He's stopping. It is all over. Fabrizio Verdum. What a performance by Verdum. up next, it's a heavyweight title fight between El Diablo and top-level submission fighter Fabricio Verdun. <laughs> Fabricio Verdun, confident that he can take out the champ and leave with the heavyweight belt around his waist. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. Diablo making his way to the octagon, looking to defend his championship belt. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. Diablo, set to fight Fabricio by Cavallo Verdun. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Verdun is 16 years his elder. El Diablo weighed in at 250 pounds. Verdun will have a five inch reach advantage. And once again, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. The action begins, a referee in charge, Mario Yamazaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 28 wins, 14 losses, and one draw. He stands 6 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 239 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the challenger. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 
16 wins, no losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Mexico City, Mexico, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, El Diablo. All right, this is for the championship out. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. Touch gloves. El Diablo. Ready, go, first row. You ready? Fabrizio you ready? Verdun. Let's go, Here go. we go. Championship fight. Five five-minute rounds. Man, coming off that knockout victory. Huge kick to the midsection. He is hurt. Very nice. Oh, big kick. Wow, swing and a miss. Good check. Huge oh, jump. Man, that is rough. What a jab. kick he scores with a nasty inside leg kick Verdun gets clipped again but he's still in the battle oh he lands the roundhouse to the body man that jab's really effective here he's able to block the punch he's been landing a lot of uppercuts in this fight they could be a big factor you're absolutely right Joe. he's doing an awesome job continuing to score with the uppercut oh! Oh, he big shot. trying to stay out of trouble here big straight punch oh he connects with the left Oh, that's a heavy body kick. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Look for him to set up that uppercut. 30 seconds. <laughs> 20 seconds. Strong jab by El Diablo. Takes him down. Gets in a full guard here. And the round comes to a close. And what a statement he made with that takedown. There's a nice leg kick. And here's another beautiful leg kick. And there's another excellent leg kick. Incredible highlights in that round. Brittany gets us set for round number two. Wait, check the round, you ready? Are you ready? Let's round go, two go. is underway. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. Oh, huge kick to the midsection. Oh, good combination. Fabrizio Verdun with another hard leg kick. Yep, absolutely, Joe. 
nice and a good knee. knee. By him. Powerful leg kick. Some serious power in that kick, but misses. Change of stance. Good body kick. <laughs> Knee to the body. That's a nice punch by Verdun. Good knee. Nice uppercut by El Diablo. They are exchanging here, Mike. Able to just get out of the way. Nice inside leg kick. Fabricio Verdun has really put on a striking point. He's landed some really oh, good shots on the left. Looking to finish mm -hmm. this fight. This could be it. Hurt him with that uppercut. Big combination. with that huge kick. Check. Oh, very nice. Lift him. Oh, man. He just threw a haymaker. Nice oh, uppercut. Wow! Oh, my just goodness. Like that. Now, here is the big uppercut that led to the knockout. He had been throwing that uppercut throughout the fight, but this last one was the one that led to the KO. Let's check out the action on our fight replay. We can see it from another angle here. Here is the huge uppercut that lands right on the money and ends this fight. Great angle here. And he's out. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at three minutes, 40 seconds of round number two. You're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, El Diablo. El Diablo remains the UFC heavyweight champion. up next it's a heavyweight title fight between el diablo and the pitbull andre arlovsky andre arlovsky confident that he can take out the champ and leave with the heavyweight belt around his waist
As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of this cage tonight as the new champion. Diablo making his way to the octagon, looking to defend his championship belt. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Diablo enters the octagon tonight, prepared to defend the UFC heavyweight belt. Our tale of the tape for our main event of the evening. El Diablo is 27. Arlovsky is 42. El Diablo weighed in at 250 pounds. Arlovsky will have a 5-inch reach advantage. Once again, here's the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is... And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the world. It's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 39 wins, 19 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, presenting the challenger. Record of 17 wins, no losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Mexico City, Mexico, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the They touch gloves. El Diablo. You First round, you ready? Andre you ready? Arlovsky. And go. here we go. The heavyweight belt is on the line. Championship fight. Five five-minute rounds. Man, coming off that knockout victory in his last UFC fight, his confidence is at an all-time high. It was a spectacular finish. He's looking for more of the same. Oh, big shots there. Joe, we know he injured his right hand at the end of training camp. He's not throwing many of those. He's doing a real good job of landing those punches. Strong right hook countered by Arlovsky. They separate from the clinch. Good hook to the bottom. Wow, what a back and forth exchange. Oh, very nicely done. Combination by the champion. Just over three now. He hit him with the hook. Looking for the counter right. Oh, 
Big up the middle. Nicely done. Big shot. Half guard. Boom, right on the button. Under a minute remains here in round number one. He's got some time to work here, 45 seconds. El Diablo with a strong jab. That's wow. a hard hook. Oh! Solid straight left. Big knee. Combination. Oh. Beautiful knockout for the KO victory as the round was ending. Let's check out the action on our fight replay. We can see it from a different angle here. Look at the power in this roundhouse kick. And when it lands, the fight is done. Look at this. Right on the button. And with the official decision, once again, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of the very first round. Going the winner by knockout, and still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, El Diablo. El Diablo remains the UFC. Heavyweight Champion.